we were really afraid. At 107 years old, Juanita Mitchell has no trouble remembering how Chicago erupted into violence. And we hid behind the piano in my aunt's house. Mitchell was just seven years old in July of 1919, during the Red Summer a century ago. She just had moved to Chicago with her mother and sister and was staying on the south side with her uncle Cecil when the unrest began. I can hear my uncle saying, here they come. And when he said, here they come, it meant the white folks were coming. What happened on the day was one of the darkest moments in Chicago's history. Back then, 31st Street Beach was segregated. The violence began after a 17-year-old black teen by the name of Eugene Williams floated beyond an imaginary boundary in the water. He drowned after white beachgoers threw rocks at him. During the riots, white mobs went to Chicago's south side beating blacks and burning their homes. A total of 38 people were killed, 23 blacks and 15 whites. Hundreds more were left injured or homeless. You had a working class tension that was boiling up. To mark the 100th anniversary of the riots, the Newberry Library and several other organizations are sponsoring a year-long series of programs about the historic event. So the events of 1919 helped set in motion the segregated boundaries and divides that we still see today in Chicago. Historian Timmy Black says the riots came as blacks flocked to the north to escape Jim Crow for a better life and helped establish a thriving African-American culture. So the riot was a stimulation as well as an example. And while Juanita Mitchell says the Red Summer is a chapter in Chicago's history most don't know about, the only way to move beyond the city's past is to understand it. I'll never forget it. Now, the unrest also erupted in other cities across the country. There are a host of other events commemorating the anniversary, including a bike tour of Bronzeville, which is known as the Black Belt back in the day. And there's also a teen-led event to promote nonviolence and racial tolerance. That will be at 31st Street Beach, because remember, this happened at like 29th Street Beach. Right. And there was that segregated beach. People don't know this. No. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.